Now to log in. I'm just logging into the front end first of all. Um, Password, I've already got that saved. So, logging in now, I'll just give you a quick overview. Um, so, what I've done so far is I have set up um, set up one list which I've put in my own email addresses. There's, there's actually seven email addresses in here. Uh, if I click on the list, I think that'll show me some of the details here. No, that's not it. Um, I can look at subscribers, which is me. Uh, this is actually a test email. Um, there's a website which gives you a sender score. I'll just bring that one up now for you. It's called mail-tester.com. Uh, so I sent myself a test email to see how it would work out and as you can see here I've got a sender score of 10 out of 10 so everything was fine one thing that's not correct here is um, my reverse uh, DNS um, it's not actually been set up yet it's still in progress uh, as you saw the files were still being saved Here it is. Reverse DNS does not match your sending domain. So when we have a look here, our reverse DNS is the default that was on the server before I started updating it. And I'll just bring this other window here again and I'll show you the same thing. So here is the one that has updated, the reverse DNS, and these are the other three that are still in progress at the moment. So after sending them, I've checked my IP addresses and they're all green nothing's on a blacklist at this stage which we don't really want to be anyway because we've only just uh, started and uh, we don't want to be blacklisted already so this URL to check these is bulkblacklist.com and what we do is uh, we take our IP addresses I just put them in a text file so we can copy and paste one per line click on check IPs and there it is. So once our reverse DNS has been saved fully, all of these will actually be correct then and that'll actually help our uh, records here as well. Okay, next um, I'll go back to the dashboard again. So we've had a look at our list, um, the subscribers, sorry, go back to our list again. Um, if we just click on update next to our list it'll actually give us uh, the details that we want to see so when we are sitting in we put in for our list the from email which is one that I created for this domain steve at spwgold.com we want single opt-in for these I don't send a welcome email uh, but when a subscriber joins the list or when we add someone to the list we send them the first uh, of a series from the autoresponder so you can actually um, here when someone actually subscribes to the list you can actually unsubscribe them to them from any list or a list if you want uh, the other thing you can do is you can get a notification when someone subscribes you can click yes or unsubscribes you can click yes and just put in your uh, email address there and you get an email each time someone subscribes or unsubscribes so um, I'm not going to worry about that at the moment I don't really need these reminders or emails at the moment now uh, next thing I did was created a template for my emails I just called this one plain now I can um, I actually did this by creating new 
uh, but for this one I'm just going to go into edit and show you what I've actually created here so by using this template I can use this as a, um, a starting point for all of my emails so I've got hi first name at the top I've got best wishes my signature a photo of me if you need any help or have any questions please contact me on Facebook that is actually a link so if I double click on that it will actually take me to my Facebook link so people can, um, can connect to me on Facebook and all you do then is create this basic template um, I've actually put down here my company info, info the list sorry the list email address um, there's someone can update their preferences here and unsubscribe here all we have to do is put in a URL and put a protocol as other but to create a link all you need to do is highlight the section that you want to create the link and click here link and then you can just um, put in whatever the link is kind of like that so now if someone clicks on that it'll be taken to my website so I'm just going to remove that now as well uh, to remove it you just click on unlink there and that changes it back to how it was so I won't save changes on this template but I'll go now to campaigns so regular campaign is basically a single broadcast um, autoresponder is a series so I've created one campaign just called warm one which is the first of my warm-up emails I've um, sent it to the seven subscribers on my list and I can see that only delivered to five of them um, so if I want to find out what happened to that I can click on more information about this broadcast and if I click on the recipients here the seven of them I can see here that two emails were rejected could not connection could not be established with the host spwgold.com uh, so this one is given up so it attempted to deliver and then give up this one was actually my Yahoo email address I'm not sure why but that did the same thing now, that's about it for the quick overview I'll just go back to the dashboard and um, I'll come back and create another video when I've got some more info uh, this one actually gave me a bit of an out overview of the email I sent out unique opens was two that was just me opened a couple of those to see if they went through okay and they did turned out okay so this is where you just keep your stats